let's make some quick coffee. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Edward. On Instagram, I go by Trail Ready Forerunner. So in this video, I'm gonna go over my initial thoughts on these Claymore lights that were sent to me by Big Ten Outdoors. So I received two lights. One is the Ultra 2 Medium and the Three Face Large. All right, so this is the Claymore Ultra 2 Plus in the medium size. Let's see what this is all about. Nice. Comes with this really nice case. It feels premium. All right, you get instructions. Mini USB cable. Also has a hook. It normally doesn't come with this magnet. I put this on. It normally comes with this hook, which you can hang, but I wanted to test out the magnet to see This pivots to a 90 degree angle. So you can put it down. But it feels really well built. Buttons in the back, on off, plus minus color temperature mode. So, on. That is bright. And then change the color temperature. Now for the Claymore three face large. Let's get it. Another premium case. And then the runtime for the light is about eight hours on high and 78 hours on low, which is insane. So it comes with a little carabiner clip with the adjustable molly in the rear, so it won't slide from side to side depending on where you put it also has a quarter inch thread in the back the on and off buttons another quarter inch thread external usb power and then the power supply port on this side so front light side light color temperature It also gives you power indicators. 
All right, guys, let's try this one more time. So just from unboxing them, you can already tell that the quality is good. They use really hard plastics and nothing feels very flimsy. There's a lot of attention to detail, like the little feet in the back are made so that when you put it down, you don't accidentally hit the buttons. So it is made of hard plastic. These are waterproof and this bracket on top is, is made out of metal. This magnet that you can buy separately is super strong too, like just it grabs really tight but one thing i do like about it and i did test it on my truck is that it doesn't scratch your paint i wish it had some sort of protective cover maybe like a rubber boot that sits on it but just from my initial testings of putting it on and taking it off straight it didn't scratch any of my car's paint i wouldn't recommend like turning it or twisting it or rubbing it up against your car but if you're putting it on and then you take it off straight it shouldn't damage your paint this light is ip65 rated so it is water and dust proof it also comes in a large and a medium which this is the medium here so depending on the brightness you have on the light this should run you about 10 to 80 hours which is plenty for a weekend camp trip it also puts out 1200 lumens which is super bright and the battery that's in this unit is 11,600 milliamps which allows you to charge any other device like cell phones or ipads through the usb port in the back which is pretty cool now let's talk about this big boy here this is the three face in large there's also a medium and a extra large depending on the output this unit can run from eight hours to 78 hours which is plenty of time for a camping trip you can also use it as a battery bank which is super cool. The battery in this guy is 26,100 milliamps, which is a lot bigger than most portable chargers. And the light output that comes out from these lights goes from 60 lumens to 4,000 lumens, which is super, super bright. I kind of want to do a test comparison between the three face and the ready light that I already use for camping and kind of put them through the test and see kind of what light is more functional for you when you go camping. So the light output on a ready light is about 550 lumens and the runtime is roughly about 30 hours. That's what they're claiming. This unit here runs for 78 hours at 4,000 lumens, which is insane. The amount of out output this thing puts out. I already took in these out once. It was a two night trip. So I used them for only two nights and I had both of them on low. I had this one hanging under my rooftop tent, kind of like right before the ladder. And then I had this guy that I moved around between the back of the hatch and I would mount it to the, to the roof. Or I also had it r low, kind of by the campfire, and I connected it to a propane tank, and it just sat there. So now, would I recommend these products for you guys to buy? I definitely would. The price point is a little high, but when you're looking at specs and comparing them to other lights, these definitely stand out. I mean, 4,000 lumens, that's super, super bright. And when you look at the three face compared to the ready light, the three face is a little bit cheaper, but you're not getting the tripod legs, which you are getting on the ready light, but you can go on Amazon and buy some like inexpensive photography light stands and they'll hook up to this quarter inch thread here. If you're interested in checking these out or even just seeing, you know, specs online, I'll go ahead and leave a link down below to Big Ten Outdoors website so you guys can check it out. If you guys use the code TR4R, they'll give you 
off your purchase. I encourage you to use the code. I don't get anything out of it. It's just a code that they gave me to give to you guys. But that's all guys. I'm gonna continue testing these, making sure they can hold up with my camping life. And I'll definitely create another video, maybe within a month or two to kind of see where I stand and if I still do recommend these lights to you guys. Well, that's it for this one, guys. Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Damn, I got like sand in my shoe too.